Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and joining me right now is Chuck Ferry. He's the president and CEO of Duos Technologies Group. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is D-U-O-T on NASDAQ. And Duos will be presenting at our upcoming Planet Microcap Showcase Virtual 2022. With that, Chuck, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? Very good. Thanks for uh, having us again. Absolutely. So it's been a while, actually, since we had you on the show and, and to get an update kind of interview. But before we get into all that, for those that have missed any of our previous interviews or haven't heard of Duos before... Can you quickly describe what the company does? Yeah, we're basically, we're a technology company. We're based here out of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, we are a specialist and specialize in a product called a rail car inspection portal. It's basically a large uh, car garage that's on a set of, set of uh, railroad tracks, uh, but inside it, top, side, and bottom are a set of uh, sensors, uh, mostly lights and cameras that uh, take high-speed imagery of uh, trains moving at full speed. Uh, and then from that, we can uh, interpolate and analyze and assess the condition of about 20, somewhere, uh, sometimes as much as uh, 90 individual inspection points on each uh, fast moving rail car. Um, that is processed through a set of uh, proprietary IT uh, software, and then we wrap it with uh, artificial intelligence. Um, and so, you know, that, that's kind of what we specialize in. And, um, you know, we've, uh, we've, been, we've had an overall pretty good year so far. Very good. Well, let's let's learn more about that. You know, last time we published an interview together, I put that out on uh, April 12, 2022. You know, so let's get that update. What would you say are some of the company's highlights since then? Yeah, so the highlights, I mean, came out in uh, some of our public filings, but uh, basically we've strung together now um, four, four straight quarters now of uh, where we're basically, you know, hitting our, our financial targets. Um, early this year, we gave uh, public guidance to uh, hit 16.5 to $18 million of top line revenue. And, uh, and we're pleased to report we're, we're still on track to, uh, to hit that public uh, guidance range. We have not changed from that. Um, we are still uh, encountering uh, headwinds, uh, like most companies are, from uh, the supply chain, uh, you know, and, and some other, I would say, post-COVID-19 effects that uh, everybody's dealing with. But uh, by and large, that will effectively uh, more than double our, our top-line revenue growth uh, year over year. Um, we've improved our gross margins, uh, and then our, our, our net margin, or in our, in our case, a net loss, uh, has, has been further reduced as well. So um, we've also rolled out, and uh, we've talked about now going into a subscription model, uh, where we intend uh, this coming year to install, uh, own, and operate our own rail car inspection portals. Um, we'll sell those in a subscription format, um, and that'll significantly uh, increase uh, the percentage of our recurring revenue. Um, as well as, um, you know, kind of, you know, further, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, bolster the company overall from a financial perspective. You know, another question that I, I have for almost every microcap company that I've been, I've had on the show here or, or also that's presenting next week, you know, we're going through tough markets right now. You know, so what, what are some of the measures that the company is doing to mitigate maybe some of the macroeconomic pressures that most microcaps are facing uh, currently? Yeah, I, I mean, we're fortunate. We have a set of uh, a pretty, you know, I would say long-term shareholders. They've been supportive. Um, obviously, they're they're under pressure with their portfolios, and and we understand that. But by and large, they've stuck to their, you know, with the guidance that they have. I mean, look, focus on uh, the long-term, uh, you know, building blocks of the company and long-term value. Uh, try not to look too much at the stock uh, as as it stands right now today. Um, that being said, some of the things that we're doing right now. Um, one, we're in a much better uh, cash position right now than we have been. Uh, we've done that uh, th through a combination of uh, cost savings, as well as, uh, you know, very uh, modestly raising our prices with our customers, um, working hard to reduce costs uh, from vendors. In some cases, we've uh, self-performed more of the work than we have in the past uh, to save costs. Um, the other thing we've done is we've brought most of our uh, procurement and our, and, our, and our manufacturing back here to the United States, uh, much of that back here in North Florida. So all that has, uh, I would say, stabilized uh, those macroeconomic uh, uh, pressures. Um, and, uh, you know, right now, like everybody else, we're just kind of, you know, hanging on to kind of kind of ride it through and eventually it will, it will all turn again eventually. All right. Well, to close us out here today, from what you can tell us, I ask you this at the end of uh, each interview, but now that we're at the end of 2022 going into 2023, what are some of the company's value catalysts or growth drivers that you want folks to pay attention to moving forward? 
Yeah, the biggest growth driver is that this year for 2023 is going to be a transition where we're going to basically, we'll continue to sell our solution in a, in a CapEx form uh, like we have in the past or class one customers that we're happy to have. Um, but going forward, we really want to get now into our subscription model where we're going to own and operate our own portals. And that's going to allow us to actually now have multiple customers, uh, you know, uh, getting the safety information uh, out of each of these portals. And that, that's going to transform really the, how this company operates, um, and, you know, on a go forward basis when you, when you kind of project that in a 24 and 25 um, you've got a much different business. All right. Well, with that, Chuck, where can our audience go and find more information on Duos Technologies Group? Yeah, we've got a, a terrific website. Uh, it's actually been recently revamped, so it's got some new material on there. Um, and you'll just look up uh, Duos Technologies, and you'll, you'll 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 hit it right there on the website. Very good. And that's duostechnologies.com. Chuck, thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.